All right, all right, all right. We are back. Video number three for today. Um, so this one is going to be a Minnie Mouse. Minnie is getting her, her play time today. She's getting her air time. So the first one, um, the grocery basket had Minnie in it. And then this is my second mini um, gift, Easter chair. Let's turn this around. So that's what's up. We're going to go ahead and um, build this Easter chair basket. I have to um, give all respect to LBE. I saw her do it first. And then also Yummy Tea. I saw her do it with the trolls. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and attempt it. I had three chairs. Um, I figured I'd give three a try. But I also got the chairs. Um, thank you to Yummy Tea again. Um, she told, well, she mentioned in the video that she had purchased them from Ollie's. When I tell you, I looked for those chairs yesterday. Um, I always had it for $4.89 and then of course I went to Gabe's, I went to Walmart, I went to even Big Lot and Big Lot's had it for I think, I don't know, $13 um, but everywhere else it was like $10 and up for pretty much the same chair or something to it, something close to it but $4.89 is my type of deal. So... Um, what's going to happen with this video is this box, I don't want to take the items out of the box. I want to keep it the way that it is. And yes, I noticed that, uh, this is missing. Actually, it's the spatula and I just put it right here. The spatula fell off, but I'm going to end up, you'll see in the video, I'm going to build around it. I'm going to put either some fruit snacks or so like this is a salt and pepper shaker here. So I'll put something there, you know, to cover that. But um, yeah, we're going to get into this Minnie Mouse themed gift chair. So let's do it. Let's see how I do it. Now this I, I've not tried to do it prior to now, but I already noticed that this box is going to be too big. So I think what I'm going to do is let's just get into the video and I'll show you. So what I already did with the chair is I just put some tissue paper down here um, just to line it. So nothing, well, nothing would have fell through anyway, but I guess to try to make it more gift worthy looking or whatever, if, if that's even a word. I'm over here making up words. I'm making up baskets. I'm making up everything today. We we are just doing everything, mixing it up over here today. So let's just get into it. Um, so what I've already done is I already have pretty much everything laid out. I have everything that I want to put in this chair, in this bucket. So that's what I'm going to use, snacks and everything. And then um, I have a coloring book and some crayons that I'm also going to use. So let's get started. So I think I'm going to start with the base part of the chair first because, um, like I said, this box is too big to put down here and I want it facing that way so the front of the chair so I'm just going to start building underneath and then I'll come back and put this on top although I have a pillow as well and the pillow it's hidden I don't know how I'm going to do this, but let's get into it. We'll figure it out. The only way to know is to start. So this is going to go down here, the pillow. Okay. 
We have some floaties. This I think I'm gonna put on the back of the box once I get it on top. I have some, a balloon. I'm gonna put this on the back of the box too. Let me see something. Y'all bear with me. Bear with me, please. So if I put this like this, trying to see if it's gonna be sturdy enough to stay. I think I can put some tape down and then put everything under there. So, let's see how this is going to work. These boxes are these last couple of uh, different gift baskets, if you will, are not traditional, not easy peasy, but I'm always up for a good challenge. It gets me out of my comfort zone, so I don't mind it at all. All right, let's see. Hold on, I'm gonna, I wanna see it from the front. sure that I have the tape where it's not visible. So this side worked out perfect. Okay, I think that that's pretty sturdy. So now, ah, oh, okay, I'll do the grass at the end because that's gonna come around the sides and the edge. So that's, I didn't forget. So the Minnie Mouse arm floaties, and as you can see, this is for a toddler. So I'm gonna put these to the back. Now I think I can figure it out from here on. That box was kinda making me feel some type of way like, So I hope you all are having a great, relaxing Sunday, relaxing day of a Sunday. I will be able to relax once I know that my baskets, for the most part, are done. I still have a lot to do, but it's okay. I know I'll get it done. I have no choice but to get it done. Everything is like I'm putting into this. This is not my first um, pop-up. I've been doing pop-ups for a while. Um, so I did a pop-up during, what was it? Um, Valentine's Day and that was fun. I found some little slippers here from Family Dollar. I think they were like one or two bucks. So I'm gonna put these in the, like right here to the side. I'm gonna put this 
maybe like that. It's gonna be tall, but it'll be okay. I'll take that up. But yeah, um, so I've done several pop-ups before. And I think they're a lot of fun. You meet a lot of people. Um, it's different. I'm mainly an introvert. I might, it's taken me years to get on this camera. I've done other YouTube videos, but um, I have a, a clothing business as well. Look at this, y'all. Sorry to get off subject, but I probably should have put this first on the back and then taped the other items. So I told you I'm winging it here. So it's not a big deal. I can take these off pretty easy. Add the coloring book. And then put those items that I had already placed in front of the coloring book. I know you can't see me. I'm back here. But this is probably, I feel like I'm more prepared for this um, holiday as opposed to Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day was, well, that wasn't my first time going out selling baskets. I actually tried, well, I shouldn't. I did sell baskets last Father's Day. I didn't have a lot um, of purchases. Actually, I don't even know if I had. I had, uh, I think it was two or three purchases um, for Father's Day. So, but it's all good. It didn't stop me just kept me going and let me know, maybe I need to come differently. Oh, I wonder if this will fit like this. Does that look crazy? I'm only gonna have it on one leg of the chair. I don't know, I could put this in the back. Yeah, I think I'll do that. But anyway, um, am I gonna sell this Father's Day? I, I will because, you know, I never want to miss an opportunity and I love what I do and I love making baskets, but it's just like, um, I don't know. I, I will say this as well. Last time it was also my location. My location was not a good area. So since then I've moved and I had a lot of success Valentine's Day, but we'll try it out. I won't make many baskets um, for, for, for Father's Day. Um, and I also will try to do more, maybe like online orders for Father's Day. Yeah, I'm really trying to, yeah, I think that will, Look at me trying to, I think that will work. The bubbles. I don't want to set them down. They're not, it's too tall to go fit under there. But I think I can make it work here if I tape it really well. But I don't know, comment for, you know, you basket sellers, makers. Comment and let me know if you're going to go out on Father's Day. And if you are, you know, if you're going to do a lot of baskets or, you know, if you've done it years prior, 
if you've had success, I don't know. It's like men get kind of cheated, it seems like, um, for some reason. You know, women, I don't know. They're, and, and I will say this also. Women are picky buyers. They're very picky. So the orders, I, I sold more than two or three baskets. I probably sold five. So I think what it was, um, you know, of course I had kids buying their dad because I had affordable baskets. I had like $10 baskets. I had 15, 20. So I had kids that were buying for their dads. I had, um, you know, a couple women that were last minute shopping, buying for their husband, father, father-in-law. So, I don't know, but I'm really thinking that this time will be a better year, a better occasion. I'm going to try to put the eggs up here. I said I was going to put something, something small. I can put these fruit snacks here. Oh, that's cute. To cover up where the spatula fell off in the bag. This is one of my items that I purchased yesterday from Gabe's. Okay, there it is. And it was so cute. This was only like, I know it was under $5. There was nothing that I purchased there that was over $5. That's cute. So. I would say for this basket, this will probably be a, let's see how much I invested. The chair rounded up to five, um, coloring books. Everything else I pretty much got from Dollar Tree except this and this. This was like a dollar. I got it from Dollar General. Um, the snacks, I would probably say Fifteen. No, not even. I would probably say because the floaties. I think those were like two dollars. So I would probably say maybe ten dollars into this basket. Yeah, I think it's, listen, I tried to stop for a snack earlier, but I think I'm going to have to stop to take a break to eat because you know how you go, go, go. And of course I started the day with my coffee and coffee I can usually drink for, you know, drink and then have a couple of hours can go by before I'm hungry. So I did that. I've snacked unhealthy snacks I've had um, today. Nothing healthy at all. But I think I'm going to grab me some dinner shortly after I, I think I said I wanted to finish this video and then grab something to eat because I'll get to the point where I'm like slow. I start making like silly mistakes, you know, and I don't want to do that. I want to be clear minded and know exactly what I'm doing and what I'm doing it for. I want this to be 
not perfect, but I want it to be good. Listen, I have juice boxes, guys. I just remember. See what I'm saying? I, I forgot to add my juices. And I feel like I should put more snacks. So I've got this. Put that there. But what do I have? Cheetos. Let's put some chips. And if you didn't see my video prior to this one, I mentioned that I was going to um that I was going to show at the end, maybe Thursday's video will be me totally just wrapping um, in the cellophane. Let's see. Oh, let me grab a juice box. One moment. All right, I put this stuff in my pantry, but when I was taking items out, I forgot. So I've been listening to music to help me keep me pumped, motivated. Music, um, right now I have, well, I put it on pause, but I have a little movie that I was watching. I think I've seen it before. Don't you hate that when you start a movie and halfway through you're like, hey, I remember this. Did I see this before? Like what happened? And you start remembering things about it. So that's what I did. Oh, I grabbed some um, goldfish and some little chocolate chip cookies. Yes, these except, well, no, the goldfish are not Dollar Tree. And of course the juice isn't um, and chips, but the bears, the, I think they're honey graham bears and the chocolate chip cookies. Yes, these are from Dollar Tree. I am using those for my basket. So this is pretty much done. That was actually... Once I got going and figured out how to do the top one, did I put pink? I don't want it to be so pinky. Uh, yeah. Yep. That's what we're doing. We're doing the pink. Pink on pink on pink. Will be very, very girly. And what I'll do is I'll trim the bottom. I know you're probably wondering, I have more girls than boy uh, gift basket ideas, but I have some boys coming, boy gifts ideas coming. I have a couple of more chairs. And yeah, I know for sure one of them is definitely going to be a boy, but I also have some baskets. I have Batman and I still have a couple more teen um, gift ideas coming. I feel like I want to put tape right there. to keep the grass from falling. Put it under here at the edge. And that'll keep it right there. But 
But yeah, this week is going to be a week. My hopes and dreams are, you know, I have a goal, set goal in mind. And I'm hoping that I'll just, like I said on my previous video, I'll speak it into existence. I know I'm going to make it. I know I'm going to hit gold. Oh, I forgot to put the crayons. I forgot to add the crayons, y'all. Let's see. Should I do it here? I could. Or here. That side looks full already. I'll add it here. Okay. There we are. The Minnie Mouse themed gift basket. Let me pull it closer. I'm gonna sweep this up. Ah, I'll sweep it up. But let me show, this is it. The Minnie Mouse themed gift chair. I hope you all like it. I like it. I think it turned out super duper cute. I think there's plenty of activities and things for her to keep herself busy and out of mom and dad's hair for a little while. But there you have it. All right, so I'm back. I just wanted to say that I think that this Minnie Mouse chair turned out super cute. I, I, I say that probably about all of my items or baskets, but I try to, like I said, come from a different angle. I might take an idea or a concept that I've seen on um, another lady's video um, and then, but try to put my own spin on it. So that's what I've done here. Um, I hope you like it. Please be sure to share, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm taking a break, but I will be back with, I think I have time to do probably two or three more videos today. So that's what it's going to be. Thank you so much. Bye.